the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31. At the same time, says the Lord, will I be the God of the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord has appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with the everlasting love. Therefore, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built. O virgin of Israel, O thou shalt be adorned with the tabards, and shalt go forth with the dances of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. The planter shall plant and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the watchman upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go to Zion, unto the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coast of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame and the women and child that travails with child together, a great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by rivers of water in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, he that scattered Israel will gather him, and keep him as a shepherd does his flock. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob, and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than ye. Therefore they shall come in and sing in the height of Zion, and shall flow together the goodness of the Lord, for wheat and for wine, for oil and for the young of the flock of the herd. And their soul shall be as a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will statate the soul of the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied from my goodness, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, a voice was heard in Ramah, lament, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rahel weeping for her children. Rachel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. Thus says the Lord, Refrain thy voice from weeping, and from thine eyes from tears. For thy work shall be rewarded, says the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of their enemy. And there is hope in thine end, says the Lord, that thy children shall come again into their own border. And I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself thus, Thou hast chastised me. And I was chastised as a bullock accused performed to the yoke. Turn now me, and I shall be turned, for thou art the Lord my God. Surely after that I was turned, I repented, and after that I was instructed. I smote upon thy thigh, and I was ashamed, yes, even confounded, because I did bear the reproach of my youth. Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? For since I spoke against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore my bowels are troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him, says the Lord. Set thee up waymarks, make thee high heaps. Set thine heart toward the highway, even the way which thou went. Turn again, O virgin of Israel, turn again to these cities. How long wilt thou go about, O backsliding daughter, for the Lord has created a new thing in earth. A woman shall compass a man. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as yet they shall use this speech in the land of Judah and in the cities thereof, when I shall bring again their captivity. A Lord bless thee, O habitation of justice and mountain of holiness. And there shall dwell in Judah itself and in all the cities thereof together, husbandmen and they that go forth with flocks, for I have satied the weary soul, and replenished every sorrowful soul. Upon this I awakened, and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel, and the house of Judah, with the seed of man, with the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass, that like as I have watched over them, to pluck and to break down, and to throw down, and to destroy, and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build, to plant, says the Lord. 
In those days they shall say no more, The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But every one shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eats the sour grape, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them, says the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with thee in the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Thus says the Lord, which gives a sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and the stars for a light by night, which divides the sea when the waves thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus says the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, then the foundations of the earth search out beneath. I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all they that have done, says the Lord. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Haniel unto the gate of the corner, and the measuring line shall yet go forth against it upon the hill of Garib, and shall compass about Goath, and the whole valley of dead bodies and ashes, and all the fields unto the brook of Kidron, unto the corner of the horse gate toward the east, shall be holy unto the Lord. It shall not be plucked up, nor throw down any more forever. Chapter 32 The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar. For then the king of Babylon's army besieged Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison, which was in the king of Judah's house. For Zedekiah, king of Judah, had shut him up, saying, Wherefore does thou prophesy, and say, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will give this city unto the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And Zedekiah, king of Judah, shall not escape out of the hand of the Chaldeans, but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. And thou shalt speak with him mouth to mouth, and his eyes shall behold his eyes. And he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon, and there shall he be until I visit him, says the Lord. Though ye fight with the Chaldeans, ye shall not prosper. And Jeremiah said, Thy word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, Hanamiel, the son of Shalom, thine uncle shall come unto thee, saying, Buy thee my field that is in Antioch, for the right of redemption is in thine to buy it. So Haniel, mine uncle's son, came to me in the court of the prison, according to the word of the Lord, and said unto me, By my field, I pray thee, this is in Antioch, which is in the country of Benjamin, for the right of the inheritance is thine, and the redemption is thine. Buy it for thyself. Then I knew this was the word of the Lord. And I bought the field of Hanimiel, my uncle's son, that was in Antioch, and weighed him the money, even seventeen shekels of silver. And I subscribed to the evidence, and sealed it, and took witness, and weighed him the money in the balances. So I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was open, and gave the evidence of the purchase to the Barak, the son of Nira, the son of Messiah, in the sight of Hanamiel, my uncle's son, and in the presence of the witness that subscribed to the book of the purchase. Before the Jews sat in the court of the prison, and I charged Barak before them, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these evidences, this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed and this evidence which is open, and put them in an earthly vessel, that they may continue many days. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. Now when I had delivered the evidence of the purchase unto Barak the son of Nera, I prayed unto the Lord, saying, 
O Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power and a stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Thou shows love and kindness unto thousands, and recompensed the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their great children after them. The great, the mighty God, the Lord of hosts is his name. Great in counsel and mighty in work, for thine eyes are open all the ways of the sons of men to give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, which has set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even unto this day in Israel and among other men, and has made thee a name as at this day, and has brought forth thy people Israel out of the hand of the Egyptians with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with stretched out arm and with great terror. He has given them this land which thou didst swear unto their fathers to give them, a land flowing with milk and honey. And they came in and possessed it, and they obeyed not the voice, neither walked in thy law. They have done nothing of all that thou command them to do. Therefore thou hast caused all the evil to come upon them. Behold the months that they are come unto the city to take it, and the city is given to the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it, because of the sword and the famine and the pestilence, and what thou hast spoken is to come to pass, and behold, thou seize it. And thou hast said unto me, O Lord God, buy thee field for the money, and take witness, for the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Therefore thus says the Lord, Before I give this city unto the hand of the Chaldeans, and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And the Chaldeans that fight against the city shall come and fire on this city and burn it with the houses upon whose roofs they have offered incense unto Baal and poured out the drink offerings unto their gods to provoke me to anger. For the children of Israel and thy children of Judah have only done evil before me from their youth. For the children of Israel have only provoked me to anger with the works in their hands, says the Lord. For this city has been to me a provocation of my anger and my fury from the day that they built it even unto this day, that I should remove it from before my face. Because of all the evil of the children of Israel and of the children of Judah, which they have done to provoke me to anger, and they, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they have turned unto me thy back, and not the face, though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them. Yet they have not hearkened to receive the instruction, because they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valleys of the sons of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire of Molech, which I commanded them not, neither came it to my mind, that they should do this abomination, to cause Judah to sin. And now therefore thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning this city, Wherefore ye say, It shall be delivered to the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whether I have driven them in my anger, and in my fury, and in great wrath, and I will bring them again unto this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. And I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the God of them and their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from them to do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts, that they shall not depart from me. Yes, I will rejoice over them to do them good. I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus says the Lord, Like as I have brought all this great evil upon the people, so will I bring them all the good that I have promised them. And fields shall be bought in this land. Wherefore you say, It is desolate without man or beast. It is given unto the hand of the Chaldeans. Men shall buy fields for money, and subscribe evidences, and seal them, and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin, and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, and in the cities of the mountains, and in the cities of the valley, and in the cities of the south. For I will cause their captivity to return, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. 
In your loving name I pray. Amen.